Uh, Charles Horton, this must be the worst transport launch ever. It's been absolutely shocking. What do you say to commuters? Well, I say very, very. We're very, very sorry that the uh, that this has happened. We're very sorry for the delays and cancellations which customers are experiencing at the moment, and we're absolutely committed to putting it right. Uh, and that's what I'm doing with my team at the moment to, to fix the problems. Commuters are calling for fresh leadership at Govia Thameslink. Are you going to resign? I am absolutely committed to solving the problems and sorting things out as quickly as we possibly can do. Um, it was particularly bad in the first couple of weeks after the timetable change. What we're trying to do at the moment is to make much more stability in services from one day to the next so that there isn't the variability of, of service from one day to the next. We're also working in parallel with colleagues across the industry to look at creating an amended timetable which will offer improvement and our plan is to put that in place during the course of the summer. Govia Temzik though can't seem to deliver this service, even your own staff are embarrassed of the company, embarrassed to work for you, surely something has to change at a management level. So our staff are doing an incredibly good, uh, di difficult job at the moment, they're working extremely hard in the most difficult of circumstances. As I said, I'm absolutely committed to tackling the issues that we're facing here and making sure that we deliver the improvements for customers which they want to see. So you're not going to resign eventually Govia Thameslink? The threat is you might lose the contract. Do you think uh, Govia Thameslink should lose the contract after this performance? So our job is to get services to be much better for customers and that's our priority. We're working on that at the moment. Our next job is to actually put in place a better timetable that delivers progressive improvements from the summer onwards and also to make sure that customers get the essential improvements that we plan to deliver to them. The improvements in connectivity between places, the additional new trains, the much more reliable punctual service and the increase in capacity because that is what customers really need. When you talk about that, commuters will be laughing because the service has deteriorated. You haven't been able to deliver uh, that service. Surely you admit Govia Thameslink as a franchise, as a contract, is hanging by a thread and it's very likely you will lose it. So we've delivered substantial improvements during the course of a contract in terms of new trains. We've delivered more new trains than any other franchise in the country. We've also delivered um, increases in service. We've delivered a number of other things. But I do accept that this timetable change has delivered at this stage um, a level of punctuality and reliability for customers which is not good enough on Thames Link Great Northern. And that's what we're determined to put right calls for renationalisation, do you understand those? Look, I, I think that people looking for a simple solution to a very complex problem is not going to work. What we have to do is get to the root of the problems here and make sure lessons are learned for the future and that's why Secretary of State has announced an inquiry into this which will be led by the ORR which we of course welcome and will be working along with to make sure that lessons are learned and that things do improve for the future. You travel by train, have you been caught up in your own delays? Yeah, I've been caught up in delays. I travel on our trains every single day. Like most people who travel on Thameslink and Great Northern, there have been occasional delays in the, in the past few weeks and some trains have run on time and some haven't and I'm sorry about that. I really am sorry.